Welcome to Ace Designs 107, it is Cinema 40 Friday, and today I'm going to show you how to make this displacement tutorial in Cinema 40. As you can see, the effect is really cool, and obviously if you know how to do a little bit of animation in Cinema 40, um, you can use this material and like, kind of displace it and animate it in cool ways. But, besides that, I'm just going to show you how to make the ball itself with the displacement on it. So, yeah, let's get straight into today's tutorial. Alright, so we are in Cinema 40 and make sure you go down to the description below because of that has a file for you to download and the file contains this scene with already balls made for use for, to render. So um, I have made two materials that automatically work, however I'm just going to show you how to make these materials. So with displacement tutorials, a lot of people use a material to displace their objects. The reason for this is it's really accurate and you can edit the material in many different ways to get different types of displacements. So I'm going to go and show you how to make that. So once you have downloaded the file, you can edit the material, but to do it from raw scratch, open up Cinema 40 and you'll have your Lightroom in here, then um, grab a sphere and just move it into place on the document. Okay, you've got that. Now we're gonna go to create new material. We're gonna drag this material onto our new sphere and we're gonna press C. What this does by pressing C on the keyboard is we're just basically moving, we're just making the object editable. And when you make the object editable and you're adding this displacement material on it, it works you know it won't work if you don't have a displaced material on so you have to press c on the keyboard to make the object editable then you go down to your new texture and right click and do edit we're going to first change the color now you can at any time point in time you can change the color of the ball but for this exp for this tutorial i was going to say experiment how about that but for this tutorial i'm going to use light blue now, I could show you how to do a reflection, but reflection does take a long time to do. So, um, I just want to make this tutorial short and quick just to show you how to do the displacement. So, I'm going to go to the bump and click bump, and then I'm going to go to texture and then go to... And then I'm going to click here. I'm going to go to texture. And I'm going to add a noise. Sorry guys, I just had a mind blank. And basically, we already have our material being displaced, if I render this out. It's already displacing the material. However, we want to we want to be able to edit the material in more different ways than just by using the bump feature on the material. So to do this, what we are going to do is we're going to go back to our material, and we're just going to go to our texture, click on texture, the word texture, right click and do copy. And then go to our displacement and then click the displacement. And then we can basically turn off the bump. So if you can turn that off, we don't need it anymore. We're going to click on texture again under the displacement tab and go paste. So now we have a lot more control over this material. And because of you're using the cube, you can already see what it would kind of look out in the preview. But we are going to edit these settings. So I'm going to change the height to 24. Now, the height does change a lot of things in the texture. It what manipulates the displacement in a way. So, try and mess around with the height and see what height really works in your favor. And, yeah. Alright, so we're going to go to our strength and we are going to just change it down to, like, 40. Now, you can change this at any point in time. So, yeah. Now, we're going to go to our sub-polygon displacement and click that. Now, keep in mind, I want to just pressure this to use guys attention this picture that you're using to displace and when you start to click render it takes a long time to render and if you don't have a good computer like I do um, my computer is basically maxed out settings for rendering so it's 
it will take a long time if you add a lot of sub polygon displacement levels so make sure you keep the levels to a minimum as possible as you can i know that you add more levels it will make it look better but there's a point where your computer will just take too long to render something for nothing basically so i just do want to do want to stress that to you guys that keep the subdivision level low so i'm going to change subdivision level to six and even for me six takes around six to seven minutes to render one picture and i have an i7 um it's overclocked cool um liquid cooling on it a really expensive gpu card in mind so just take the if you're on a macbook pro just put this sub level to like four or three now we're going to go to our round ge geometry and we're just going to click that and now we basically have our thing but we can obviously change the settings so i'm going to change the strength you know to 50 59 and i'm going to go to the texture click on the noise and we are going to change some of these settings so i'm going to change your relative scale to 109 percent 103 and 104 now you can obviously change all these values to whatever you want but these are the values that i'll be using and yeah we've basically got a texture and you can what you can do now is you can go to the noise and you can click under here and change the type of noise so it's going to change the mapping of it so if you can have uber and as you can see it changes it so we can go to like pezzo and they'll make it like really spiky in all different ways so i'm going to render this out and i'm going to show you what it will look like so i'm just going to pause the video and i'll be right back or i'll just speed through it rendering itself so i'm just going to render it so to render it what i'm going to what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to the little cut sign with the cog wheel behind it click there and we are going to go to the output area and we're going to change the width 1920 by 1080p make sure you're always rendering out in hd guys hd is really professional you don't want to be rendering out at 640 by 640 because of then you can't upscale it and you'll lose resolution however at hd you can always downscale it so yeah just render in 1920 by 1080p or 720 by 1080p and then we're going to go to save and we're going to save this as render example one and then I'm going to save this, and then I'm going to go to the format, change it to PNG. And you can always put an anti-aliasing. Um, just keep the minimum level 1 and the maximum level 2. Anti-aliasing will take the render time a lot more if you keep it to like 4 and 8, guys. It's not worth it. You'll get the same in image quality in this certain type of render. So just keep it to 1 times 1 by 2 by 2. And then global illumination clicked. And then close that. And then we're going to go click here on render and press ok and what this is going to start doing is it's going to start rendering out the picture now guys i might actually speed through this so if you don't want to you know watch this obviously render second by second here's a speed up video of it you know speed up anyway guys so yeah before i start speeding up this render what i'm going to tell you guys is thank you for watching this video i really do appreciate it let's see if we can get to 10 likes for it um this is my first webcam video, so I don't really know what to do with my hands and face. I'm just going to act normal. This is how I always really act in tutorials. I love speaking with my hands, guys. I love to greet you guys in every single way. I know I look, like, terrible and everything like that. I just, yeah, it was just a crazy day, guys. Just a crazy day. Anyway, guys. As I said before, I'm going to be doing daily uploads on my channel. So, I'm going to be so excited for this, guys. Um, holidays are on for me, so... Australia, seven week holidays. It's like America's three months holidays for us. So it's a really good time for me to make heaps of tutorials for you guys. And you guys can do the math. Seven weeks times seven, that's a lot of tutorials. And that's 49 tutorials. 49 tutorials will be coming out. And plus 56, 56 videos will be between now and between new school starts new year so that's awesome guys and i really do look forward to making those tutorials and things like that so guys i'm just going to speed through this because it's going to take a long time freaking long time anyway guys i'll be back with you in a second She bends, we start the trends, it's true It's what I do, man, this is nothing new I feel sorry for the dude who's cuffing you 
girl, it's up to you. Let me know what to do. Take her down and after where she gets around and lost the girl. Jack the thriller, the show ain't nothing iller. Man, I'm a lady killer. If I want her, I'm a stiller. I promise I can make her fly away like caterpillars. So if you don't know. So guys, we are back, and this is the final product of our tutorial. So guys, make sure you go down to the description below because that has the tutorial files for you guys to download for free thank you for watching the video guys this is friday's cinema 40 tutorial i'll see you tomorrow with a random video and hopefully a speed up guys see you guys later Bye bye. Не так удобнее.